decision on the basis of the evidence available to it today. It is making a decision because of decisions that have been taken in the past, which now prevent it from making a properly dispassionate analysis of the opportunities that they have today. So technology and political lock-in is a really major issue, a really problematic issue. So this comes down to proportionality, and I think the evidence about declining levels of waste and the degree to which that will affect the economics of a scheme of this kind are very important. Improved technology around MBT, mechanical and biological treatment, increased opportunities to use some of those technologies at a smaller scale. Many of the new plants in Europe now, they wouldn't dream of using conventional combustion technologies. They'd be gasification-based technologies or pyrolysis, combined very often with anaerobic digestion. It's a different technology mix that is emerging in Europe, which, when, which we don't really hear very much about here in the UK, because PFI, <coughs> frankly, has preset the way in which we think about this. If you wanted to get a PFI deal as a local authority, you had to go to mass burn incinerator. Every other technology was discounted through PFI on the basis that it was considered to be too risky. And all those alternatives were simply filtered out at stage one in every PFI deal to risk it. What does that mean? Well, there's no operating experience in the UK. Does operating experience in Europe count? No. So every single alternative, every single one, was knocked out in every single PFI deal, which is why we went time after time to mass burn incineration. So for me, this is a very complex story because we're ignoring opportunities available to us today. We're failing to take advantage of some of the examples we could be learning from. It's difficult for me to talk about the detailed economics because I haven't appraised some of the uh, detailed case studies that have been brought forward as alternatives. But all of those things, well, if you were sitting on that planning committee, you would be hard put to say, this is a decision really and truly cross my heart that's in the best interest of the citizens of Gloucestershire. You would be really hard put to justify that, in my opinion.